Hi, and welcome again to a five minute review. Today we continue with the, the datum element uh, and uh, the episode of today we will see the grids. The grids are the element that uh, use it to locate the structural stuff in your project, like to, uh, to, to locate uh, to locate uh, columns, to locate uh, foundation wall, but they are important uh, to coordination between uh, uh, architecture discipline, MAP discipline, and the structural discipline. Let's see how it's work in a Revit. If I want to draw um, grids, it's uh, in architecture. We can go to architecture tab, and uh, it's in a panel, and it's located in a panel, a datum. And in a datum, you have levels and you have uh, grids. Uh, levels, they are uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can model uh, levels only in elevation and in a section. But grids, they we can uh, we can uh, draw them in uh, floor plan and we can uh, uh, draw them in uh, also in uh, elevation or section. If I go to level one here. And in the level one, I will go click on grids and I will draw here the first grid. Okay. Escape couple of time. Now, if I see here, I have the number one. Okay. If I draw another grid, okay, grids, and I draw this one here. You see, we have one, two. This is how it's working in Revit. It's uh, continue the sequencing with the uh, with numerical uh, with numerical number. If, for example, I draw here horizontal grids, escape couple of time. You see, he continue. But if I click inside this bubble here, and I put, for example, alphabetic uh, letter like E here you see and I continue for example to draw a grids align with this one here and draw here another grid you see he continue A B C etc this is the way uh, it's work grids but what is important in grids is like when I go here in elevation we can see them here in this elevation, south elevation. For example, if I go to north, I will see them here in the north. For example, if I go in the east, I will see the other, uh, the other grids that I draw here in the level one that is like here. For example, this is horizontal, but if I double click here, I will see them here. And there is important stuff that we need to know about grids. If I go here and I just draw another level, okay, like this time I will go to level. And instead of draw a level like, like that, I will choose pick line here and I will put the offset for meters, okay, and I just grab. I just hover over here, this level, just hover over. I didn't click, I just hover over. You see, we have this line here. And if I click now on my level, it will draw another level here. If I do that again, hover over, pick, and I have this one. I do it again, et voila. Escape a couple of time. Now I have this level four and level five and level three if i go to the level three here i don't see my grids why because the grids doesn't intersect with this level if i go for example i take this one i just unlock it from the other one i want just one here okay i go to level three you see now I see it, okay? I am in a level three now floor plan. Now I see it. If I go here, double click, and this one also, I just bring it like that, go to level three, and I see it also. Now we know that 
if the level if the grids intersect with levels and we will we will see it in a plan but another important stuff we will dig in that deep, uh, deeply in in the next uh, videos but i just let you know here in grids we have this 3d you see it this 3d and we have this bubble and uh, we have if we click on here we will have like 2d here and what does mean if i go here in a mode 2d here you see 2d here i am in a mode 2d and it intersect with level 4 if i go to level 4 i will not see it why because here we don't have this bubble this 3d bubble intersect or with the level 4 if i go here and bring it to intersect with level 4 double click now i see it okay this is some trick and uh, we will see it some tricks uh, for uh, levels and grids in, uh, in the next, next videos thank you for watching this video